cracking myself up. <laughs> I don't even remember where I paused at. But I know who to blame for it taking a while to get back. Stay <laughs>had another one it was like the day of so i stuck to the family style and that's one reason i bought two loaves because they were just a pound each see what's in here i'm probably gonna be just as surprised as you are <laughs> okay this is one thing that was on my list it was and i believe i may have another one somewhere else because i i stocked up on different kinds I got the uh, Supreme Tradition 2 ounce black pepper. And black pepper was definitely on my list. Then I got, it's pepper, I can't even see in here. Let me see. I should have done it earlier in the morning. 1.5 ounce pepper. And it is a... Uh, Product of India, Vietnam, Brazil, and something about South Africa. 100% natural. But I thought, I'm going to see if it tastes fresher than the one that's already ground. Okay. 
And although I have sugar here, and you're going to see some of it in upcoming videos, and I know you've seen a five-pound bag that was hard as a brick that Omi showed, you're going to crack up when I do show you what I found while I was decluttering. But anyway, I still like to get the Marina Pure Cane Sugar for Kenny. Certified clean, non-GMO, all natural, and it's two pounds for a dollar. We use it practically every day in this oatmeal. Uh, basically, I think that's all he mainly eats, unless he's eating Raisin Bran. But I like to get this sugar for him, even though I know I've got plenty of white sugar. Again, another thing kind of disappeared since a day or two or three ago is I bought two packs of bagels. And when I go in to get the container, hopefully for my bread, I'll bring the other one back. I bought some plain bagels because Eli likes plain bagels. I actually, for lunch, lunch slash supper, had a tomato soup, Dollar Tree, a bagel, Dollar Tree, with a everything bagel seasoning on it, Dollar Tree, and croutons on my soup, Dollar Tree. Uh, the cream cheese, I think, was from Walmart. But my supper was mainly a Dollar Tree supper. But anyway, these are the Ellie's Cinnamon Raisin Bagel. Boiled and hard baked, 12 ounces. You get four for a dollar. Buy these a lot. Eli likes the Cinnamon Raisin and he likes the plain. He's not a big fan of the everything bagel. I am, but then again, I can get... Uh, I can put the seasoning on it and I'll be fine. The bagels and the rolls probably weren't on my list because bread is normally a staple thing that I buy, same as the sugar. Might have been on my list, but I don't think so. I believe vinegar was on my list. I bought the apple cider leafing leopard vinegar, 5% acidity, 32 ounces for a dollar. Then I bought the uh, Oleo All Natural Distilled White Vinegar, 5% Acetisticity, 32 ounces for a dollar. And I bought these with a purpose, so I wanted fresh bottles that hadn't been opened, and so I got those. I can put those up there now, I guess. I got more at the Dollar Tree than I thought I did. I really did. Okay, I'm coming up on some more items I didn't have on my list, but it's stuff that I fill in, like for snacks or with stuff that I already have in my pantry. I bought Kenny some pecan swirls. I did for a snack. Uh, you'll see all the time that I buy him the uh, cherry pies from Walmart, but I... <clears throat> change it out a little bit a lot of times when I go to the Dollar Tree and I'll buy him. He likes oatmeal cookies, oatmeal raisin cookies, fig bars, strawberry bars, the fudge drop cookies. Just so much at the Dollar Tree they have, but this time I bought the corn twirls. I really want to make some breakfast burritos, I do. Hopefully, I'll get to that very soon. But I bought um, 12... Tortilla flowers, fresh and soft, 16 ounces, no cholesterol, no fat. Product of Mexico. And it's good till September 5th. One thing I've been trying to do, watch my dates, get it far enough out, because I am still doing things around here. And uh, I had to make myself get back on the camera. I did. It... It's easier for me to be behind the camera. I have a lot of times my phobias kick in and I told myself tonight, you're at least going to get this video done. Hopefully get the other one finished up so I can get them posted. More current videos. I do want to make a pie with a graham cracker crust. This is a six ounce crust. It's by Bama, nine inches graham cracker crust. And it's good till 
November. So that's right along the lines I was telling you about keeping it far enough out. Tell Michelle, I couldn't remember if I had any of these at home. Not on my list again, I'm sure. Copper coated scrubbers by Scotch Brock. And I told her I wonder if it'd be good in cleaning on my cast iron because I want to start using uh, my lighter weight skillets like for cornbread and stuff like that. And I thought these might be handy to have. I may already have some and don't remember, even though I've already a little while back cleaned out from under my sink, which you'll see in future videos. Didn't look before I went because I hadn't really planned on buying any, but I seen them, so I went ahead and got them. I got two of the next item. Got one for me, one for Eli. A while back, you seen me with uh, the back, the, like the loof only, they stretched, and I said you could wash your back really easy with them. We love those. But I seen these, and I don't know if they're new or not, but I got Eli a blue, I call it, Leaf a sponge to wash his back with. He's excited to get to try to use it. He was actually going to use it the other night. And I said, Eli, that's fine because Mama's got one too. And I'm just telling him you have one, but he hasn't got it yet. I got a purple one. And it's like my daughter said in her videos, uh, once they wear out, she just tosses them for a dollar and replaces them. Because I was trying to tell her, you could easily replace it because of the way the back is. But she said, for a dollar, Mom, I'd just, I just replace it. But I'm pretty sure, let me see, yeah, it's a Greenbrier product. Okay, I got another basket down here. Let me shut it off for a second. I'm back. <laughs> Luckily, before I went to sleep. I'm in another part of my undisclosed location I am. I went ahead and put the stuff in the kitchen that I just showed. I, I should say just showed, but really, it's a little while ago. I have someone to blame for that. I was checking notifications on my phone. And Angel from Jules and M, I'll try to link them was having a live. I don't think I've ever watched her on live, so I tuned in and chatted with them. She was actually talking about a Dollar Tree project she's doing, so I'll do the best to remember to link, because I really enjoy watching her and her daughter. But let's finish this Dollar Tree haul. You want to? Uh, I have one more of these baskets. I took the other one on in the kitchen. I actually had a purpose for buying two more of these baskets, but since I've still been doing the decluttering and stuff, I wanted up empty and two I already had. You'll see in my Walmart haul, which will be the next video, exactly how I uh, use these baskets because of, uh, with something in my Walmart haul. So I'm just gonna set this in my lap. And like I said, it's been a few. So, we've already gotten into these two. Shows that we use them, and we like them. Called Toast and Pop-Ups, Frosted Strawberry. There's just six in here. A lot of times, uh, in the past, there would be eight. Sometimes there's eight now, but there was just six in here. But for something quick, I bought one box. Not on my list. Some of these things you'll never find on a list because I'm going to try to limit how much snack stuff or quick stuff I get, but I'll never say I won't because if I can afford to, I will. Um, glazed honey buns, six individually wrapped. <laughs> Hang on, that's my phone. I remembered to come back. I'm sorry about the interruption. And I've got a fly in here. I do. I wanted to get this haul done tonight because, yeah, I procrastinate. When it comes to me in front of the camera, like I said, I procrastinate. Took a phone call, came back to do the video. The chair I borrowed. The boys took it back. They were playing Yahtzee. <laughs> they were. 
and they live requested hot dogs, so did all that. Almost got sucked into the whole TV thing, and I thought, nope, got to come back here. I think I told you about the Pop-Tarts, and I think I told you about the honey buns. At least I hope I did. Need my Dollar Tree while it's what. It's what we get for having the door open so much. But anyway, I got a box of those. Oh, I put these back in my lap here. Got me some fresh bacon soda. I did. I actually leave boxes like this open in my pantry, fridge, sometimes my refrigerator. I'm not sure if it has one right now to absorb odors, but I wanted this one to put in my long-term storage pantry. I believe I have one bag of this, but I got another bag of the Nancy Jane All-Purpose and Rich Bleached Flour, two pounds. And it's good till 11, 13, or 22, so I got it for the pantry. Not sure if either one of these was on my list. I have to see. Gotta find the list first. I had talked the last time that, I, or one of the times before when I went to the Dollar Tree, I picked up some Parmesan cheese. The ones in the smaller container are the actual grated Parmesan cheese, Kelowna, and it's 2.5 ounces. And I checked the date on this one. I know it's on here. It's good until 2, 3 of 22, which the other one I bought, excuse me, the other one I bought was going to expire, I think within the month. And so, I didn't want to get more than one. But in this case, I bought two. So, they can go in the pantry. Uh, bought another black pepper. And I've actually got into this one. Because the day I bought all these black peppers uh, to try. I think I've showed you two of them already. Uh, I was totally out at the house. Except for... Uh, don't know if I have any peppercorn or not in the pantry. I I think it was black salt. The yeah, I think it's black salt I seen. But anyway, I already used this today in my tomato soup. But I opened it up and it's good. I like it. It's a uh, supreme tradition, two ounces. It's good to six fifteen twenty three, but I really don't think pepper goes bad. I really don't. My daughter got one of these and showed it in her haul, and it actually leaked in her bag, even though the top was sealed. And I told her she might want to go ahead and take it back to uh, the Dollar Tree anyway. A dollar is a dollar, right? So this is minced garlic, eight ounces, some supreme tradition. I'm not even sure if minced garlic goes bad, but it says 11, 12, let me see, no, 1, 11 of 23. And I already have some, but this one's going in the pantry. Since she brought it to my attention, I went ahead and got one. And I very seldom buy a lot of the smaller drinks at the Dollar Tree. Every once in a while, I'll buy something to try. This one was called Aloe Vita. It's an aloe vera and pure water, green grape, 16 ounces. It says it's 70 calories per bottle. Total carbs, 17 grams. Total sugars includes the 16 grams. It's 32 grams of sugar. 32% sugar. 32%. Let me see. Refrigerator after opening. Shake well. Definitely didn't look at the stats on it before I bought it. I like green apple. I like, I used to get the hard candy that was green apple. It was a sour green apple and it was so good. I want to put this in the refrigerator to uh, get it cold before I try it. 
if I can remember the next Dollar Tree haul I do, I'll try to remember to tell you about it or maybe do a little clip when I'm tasting it just so I'll have it. I did take a clip of something out of the freezer section that I fed the kids. I did. Thought I'd jump in and show you these real fast. Uh, while we were at the new Dollar Tree, I bought three of these brown and served breakfast pancake meals because Eli loves them and the girls love pancakes and I knew me and Michelle were going to be busy today. The guys are working and so we're going to heat these up, get them to the kids and after I do and get a chance, I'll come back and show you what else I got. And I think I told you at some point in this video, because it's been sidetracked so many times, that I did buy two of these baskets. But since I was decluttering and stuff and emptied out two, that's what something that I had in the first part of my Walmart haul. It's helping me with some of my groceries. Uh, some commented that they liked what I had my bread in. It's just a lock and lock container. I brought it in here. And uh, what I do, I just open the bread up. And I like it because it's so easy to open and close. I really could have used one of my top, just my taller ones. But I didn't have any vacancy in any of them. No vacancy in the lock and lock. If I had any, I didn't see it. It's all with cereal and uh, different, different things. So, let me see. I'm not stacking real well. I just put a pound in it, and I'll put what little bit's left of this one in it. I probably could have stacked it better if I wasn't on camera. Normally it stacks easier. That's all right. But I just take my bread out, put it in there. Let me see here. Got my bread in here. No danger in crushing it because it's in this hard plastic and I keep it under my island and it's ready for breakfast in the mornings or sandwiches or whatever else that I'm doing. I know these will still come in handy and you're gonna see them throughout some videos where I've used them in different rooms for different reasons. It'd be handy to put all this stuff back in, take it to my kitchen. In my last video uh, that I posted last night, Omi showed some stuff that we had gotten in Oklahoma. And I said, there's one item when I was looking at the video, because I haven't looked at it. She posted it when I was busy, and I told her I was going to go with it. Forgot about it, actually, because we have been busy. And like I said, busy don't always mean 24-7, but busy. But one item in there struck a chord with me. We got it, I think it was at the Amish Cheese House. I could be wrong. It was either there or on the way at Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, I believe. We went to an Amish place. But it was these, uh, this okra. And I'm thinking that it's air fried. I'm not sure. It has very good flavor. Very crunchy. We went to uh, Oklahoma back in May. It's in my lock and lock dish. I go by it sometimes and get one. If you love deep fried okra, you'll love these. My brother tried one. He really liked it, but he said, hang on one second, honey. The longer it was in his mouth, he could kind of taste a little bit of the okra slime. But it's well worth whatever you, if you can find it. This one was really good. And like I said, it was in last night's haul, if you want to go back and look at that one. Well, 
Eli, I did my first tile in here. What do you think? You think people are gonna like it when they see all of it? Do you? He's giving it thumbs up. Uh, I'll have to actually go back over this video, make sure I haven't forgot anything. I don't know. I've been interrupted too many times. <laughs> but if I get a chance, uh, I'm going to go finish up my Walmart haul. And that way I'll have one for tomorrow night. So, until next time, we'll talk soon. Until next time, bye. Unless I find something else to tell you. <laughs>